Yo, what's up guys, Maji here, and for today's video I have 3 building tips that will help you in the new update. So as of devlog 158, raiding has been buffed, allowing raiders to place twig and ladders wherever they please on your base, allowing them to raid from wherever they want. Now this has changed the game completely, and these tips should help you survive the update. For my first tip, I want to show you guys how to roof stack. Now this will be extremely important for any base design because now raiders have access to your roof. So as you can see here, in the space of one floor, I was able to add three layers of roofs. Now this is very important because you want your roofs to be just as strong as your honeycomb. An older technique of roof stacking was by using slanted roofs like this, but the problem is a raider can easily use rockets to their advantage because the splash damage of a rocket will destroy all the roofs at once. But by using this technique, roofs are stacked at a half block height, meaning that if a rocket were to hit the first roof, the next roof would be undamaged, meaning that raiders need to go through each roof individually to reach your loot room. So here is how to build it. So for my next tip, I'm going to show you guys how to trick raiders by hiding your most important stuff inside of a hidden basement. As you can see here, we just have an example base and a raider would probably think that your main loot is somewhere in the middle to the top. So coming in here, you'll see that this base is completely regular looking. You have your standard airlock and once you come inside, you have a nice looking first floor, you have rugs, you have a nice campfire, some boxes, a bed. But in this corner right here, if you're the owner of the base and you have access to the cupboard, you can actually pick up these rugs using a building hammer and your basement will be exposed. So once you come down here, this will be your secret basement. Now in here, you would want to keep your most important stuff such as your main furnaces, your tool cupboard, your main bed, and of course your main loot room. So down here would be hidden from all the raiders and you would keep your most important possessions. Now once you come back up, all you gotta do is place your rugs again like I do right here, place them on top of each other and you should be able to completely cover that hatch and hiding it from any raiders. So now I'm going to show you guys how to build it. Now for the last tip, this is for the people that want to protect their roof or their battlements area and as you know, you can place ladders on lips like this. So if you want to protect your defense floor or your balcony, there are still ways to do this by using certain items. First of all, you can use stone barricades just like this. You can also use sand barricades, they'll do the same thing. You can use actual wooden bar barricades to prevent ladders. You can use small planters and large planters, it does not matter and make sure they're hanging over the edge. You can also use wooden, regular wooden barricades. Once again, you can use any type of planner. You can use metal barricades, and you can also use small signs. These work very well as well. And finally, you can use the regular square stone barricades to prevent ladders from being able to climb up your base. Now, if you don't have a lip on your base, you can still defend it by placing signs around just like this. Now, this will prevent raiders from laddering up past the second floor or wherever you place these. But the problem here is that they can still place twigs, so what you want to do is build up two square foundations, then have a stair out, and then have another stair out facing the opposite direction along with a low wall. And what you want to do is also place more stairs facing outwards from your base, and you want to do this all around your base. Now, the farthest you will be able to build is right here, and this is pretty much identical to the old cupboard, so this is pretty good for raid towers. Now, the problem is you can still place floors right on top of the base just like this, so raiders can get up like this. This is very hard to counter, but here's one way. You want to place roofs along with an overhang just like this, 
Now this will really limit their mobility when trying to build up because as you can see once they place floors they'll be blocked here and stability won't allow them to place any more stairs to get up. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the three tips. Good luck and enjoy.